Good morning. It is such a beautiful, let me show you, quiet morning in the woods. And as I am walking, trying to be quiet, I'm seeing so much wildlife. It's really incredible. And I wanted to bring you with me. Um, what I want to talk about today is physical symptoms that manifest and what they're trying to teach us. So I bit my lip so hard that um, I got, gave myself a fat lip. And like I kept biting it over, good morning, good morning. Um, I kept biting it over and over and over again. And so it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And I think when, oh my gosh, look at this. This tree came down very recently. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> There's another tree. Uh, I'm sure we'll see that on our way. Look at this. It's incredible. Okay, sorry. So I bit my lip so hard that I gave myself a fat lip. And what I want to invite you into considering is the metaphorical reason behind your physical, emotional, mental symptoms. So biting your lip, for instance, what I think for myself it means is that I'm not speaking my truth, I'm not uh, voicing my thoughts, I am holding myself back, I'm, I'm biting my lip, right? I'm stopping myself from speaking. And then I started thinking, because this is not a new concept, right? Like Louise Hay, you can heal your life. You know, there's all these incredible books out there that help us understand uh, the deeper meaning behind the physical symptoms that are manifesting, that are showing themselves, that are presenting. And what I want to go even deeper into is what that symptom causes. So for instance, we get like, okay, you bit your lip, you're biting your lip, you're not talking, you're not speaking, and use your own experience. You know, do you have back pain? Hi, there's so much going on. Do you have a foot pain? Whatever it is that you're experiencing. Hi, Lisa. Put yourself in this, in this, you know, conversation. And then what is it that you have to do as a result, right? Like I have to be really careful of how I speak, of how I chew. It's asking me to take my time, um, be very thoughtful methodical, be in the present. Like with this giant fat lip, <laughs> I can't just eat my food really quickly and not worry about biting it. I have to be careful. And when I'm speaking, I have to be careful. Like I'm mindful of it. So it's also, it's like, okay, yeah, you're biting your lip and not speaking. And when you speak, Take it slow, be methodical, be mindful. This isn't an invitation to just blurt out whatever you think and feel just so you can get it off your chest. That doesn't help anybody, right? So I just wanted to open it up and like really bring your attention to how whatever's happening in your life with your body is happening for you. You know, we talk about this a lot and how to see what it's inviting you into in a expansive, empowering way, as opposed to how I think we often feel, which is totally understandable, you know, like a limited victim way. How can you transform the relationship that you have with anything that you're experiencing that's uncomfortable so that you can now see it as if it's happening for you and not to you? There are a lot of bugs out today. <laughs> so, I hope that that helps. I've got a client call in about three minutes. Um, and I just wanted to share what was on my mind. I haven't been as visible lately. And I think I am coming out of the... Um, uh, 
the the dark phase of the moon i would say is what i was in oh the new moon is actually on thursday oh speaking of the new moon morgan is leading our new moon ceremony on thursday and tickets are on sale it's a virtual ceremony it's going to be really powerful i channeled a whole meditation for it that was just i mean it was crazy how quickly it came in it just was like whoom. so um it's going to be pretty amazing you can go to our website um i think there's actually a post that they made yesterday or the day before if you just want an easy click to purchase tickets they're 29 bucks and you're gonna love it so i hope that you'll come <sighs> one last view one last view of the woods and the beauty it's so cool if you joined me in the beginning you heard the tree fall in the distance and as i continue on my walk if i find it I'll share a picture of it, so stay tuned. Gosh, what a metaphor, huh? What a metaphor. The old and dying crashing down. It's a very tower tarot card. This month in Becoming, we're stepping into The Fool, which is really, really wonderful, especially if you want to really embody your ability to trust. This is like my word of the year, you guys, is trust. Trust that I don't have to do everything on my own. Trust that support is here and available to you, to me. Trust that if I don't do it, it will still get done. And if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. The Fool. Um, that's In Becoming, which is our monthly subscription program. It's wonderful. If you want more info on that, link is in the profile. All right. There's my client. Have a good day. Ah. <sighs>